The Opposition of Mars, presented by Science at NASA. By the time you finish watching this video, you'll be about a thousand kilometers closer to the planet Mars. Earth and Mars are converging for a close encounter. As March gives way to April, the distance between the two planets is shrinking by about 300 kilometers every minute. When the convergence ends in mid-April, the gulf between Earth and Mars will have narrowed to only 92 million kilometers, a small number on the vast scale of the solar system. Astronomers call this event an opposition of Mars because Mars and the Sun are on opposite sides of the sky. Mars rises in the east at sunset and soars almost overhead at midnight, shining burnt orange almost ten times brighter than a first magnitude star. Oppositions of Mars happen every 26 months. Of a similar encounter in the 19th century, astronomer Percival Lowell wrote that Mars blazes forth against the dark background of space with a splendor that outshines Sirius and rivals the giant Jupiter himself. In other words, it's really easy to see. There are two dates of special significance. April 8th is the date of opposition when Mars, Earth, and the Sun are arranged in nearly a straight line. If the orbits of Mars and Earth were perfectly circular, April 8th would also be the date of closest approach. However, planetary orbits are elliptical, that is, slightly egg-shaped, so the actual date of closest approach doesn't come until almost a week later. On April 14th, Earth and Mars are at their minimum distance, 92 million kilometers, a 10-month flight for NASA's latest Mars mission. You won't have any trouble finding Mars on this night. The full moon will be gliding by the red planet in the constellation Virgo, providing a can't-miss landmark in the midnight sky. Although these dates are special, any clear night in April is a good time to look. Mars will be easy to see with the unaided eye, even from brightly lit cities. With a modest backyard telescope, you can view the rusty disk of Mars, as well as the planet's evaporating north polar cap, which has been tipped toward the sun since Martian summer began in February. Experienced astrophotographers using state-of-the-art digital cameras can tease out even more. For example, dust storms, orographic clouds over Martian volcanoes, and icy fogs in the Great Hellas Impact Basin. The view has been described by some observers as Hubble-esque. Update. You're now 1,000 kilometers closer to Mars. Enjoy the show!